Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Elon Musk has been on the news for a number of reasons, but the main reason he's been on the news is because of his acquisition of Twitter. <laughs> you know, what? Is that actually, that actually happened? I th- of course it happened. <laughs> That's not what we're talking about today. Today, what we're going to be talking about is a response to a tweet. Let's have a gander at this. If I die under mysterious circumstances, it's been nice knowing ya. Then the Muslim responds, You won't die before your day, Elon. Anyhow, you are and were a unique figure in this world. I'm only wondering one thing. As a genius, haven't you found out that there is a great creator of this world yet? If you did, make sure you confess this before your last heartbeat bless you. And then Elon responds, Thank you for the blessing. But I'm okay with going to hell if that is indeed my destination. Since the vast majority of all humans ever born will be there. Hell, that's the first thing that comes into your mind when he mentions creator? What if the first thing that came into my mind when somebody mentioned Tesla was it crashing into a two million dollar jet or failing to stop at Amiga 20 miles an hour? We're at 20 right now, we're at 21. Will it stop? You'd say I'm being biased, pessimistic, unreasonable. And you'd be right because in the grand scheme of things, Tesla is a pretty good brand. I mean, after all, I've invested into it as well, even though the returns haven't been too great at the moment. But I have faith that they will. Oh my God. Oh my God. When we look at the 99 names or qualities of Allah, only a few can be seen as quote unquote harsh. And when you take a closer look at those harsh ones, you'd be able to acknowledge that they are needed for justice to prevail. And justice is something that even you can appreciate when you had to go to court because of the shareholders lawsuit. So we tend to ignore all of these merciful qualities for a handful of qualities that if taken into context would make sense as well. I mean, let's have a look at this picture of you with Jeffrey Epstein's right hand woman. Let's be frank, looking at this is quite problematic, but when we give you a chance to explain, put this in context, we're like, yo, it makes sense. Similarly, let's not have a double standard with God that we apply to ourself. Allah says in the Quran, all my slaves who have transgressed against themselves, despair not of the mercy of Allah. Truly Allah forgives all sins. Mm, Doesn't sound like somebody that wants to send us to the hellfire. Allah says, whoever comes to me walking, I go to him running. When Allah created the creation, he wrote over the throne, truly my mercy surpasses my anger. If Allah makes such allowances for us and a person can be so arrogant that they don't even want to acknowledge him, why on earth should this person be allowed paradise? Even you've placed the condition of wealth before somebody is able to attain your car (laughs) and you'd be a fool for giving your car away for free. A woman found a lost child and embraced him. The Prophet upon seeing this asked the companions, can you imagine this woman ever throwing her child in the fire? The companion said, no, by Allah. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Allah is kinder to his slaves than this woman is to her child. If you are as smart as they say you are, you should take time out mate. Ponder and reflect upon the creation of Allah. Read the book of Allah of God. Otherwise, you are just going to end up like some RIP message that's trending on Twitter for a couple of days before people become tired and move on with their lives. You are not special. I am not special. There have been special people in the past and they have been forgotten because all that matters (laughs) to the people that are alive are those that are alive. Yeah, what's going to matter for us is what we have earned, not in terms of money, but in terms of deeds in this world. So not only are we successful here, but we are successful in the hereafter too. Let's leave it there guys. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.